mate. Sadiq Khan seems to think uh, that uh, if blokes go around saying sexist, misogynist things, uh, if their mates, if their friends go, mate, that will stop them. That will, that will cure the world, or London at least, of sexism and misogyny. Uh, let's, uh, first of all, remind ourselves of uh, the protagonist who sort of launched all of this. Uh, it is uh, Roman Raganathan uh, from the BBC. Uh, he's a BBC comedian, alleged comedian. Uh, let's have a look at his absolutely side-splitting, hysterical routine. Try not to laugh too much. Take it away, Romesh. See some sort of behaviour like that. You don't have to be big about it. Just, you know, have a word. And if that word is just mate, then that's all good. I think we've got ourselves into a situation where somebody might be talking to a woman and they say something inappropriate and we don't call it out enough. So, for example, you know, just going, mate, saying that is rank. Or, mate, she doesn't want to talk to you anymore. Or, mate... You need to move away from her. I think that's Mate, something we should be doing more. shut up. And I Get rid of him. That's enough of that. That's it. so boring, so unfunny, so preachy. He's supposed to be a stand-up. Mate, 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 tell a damn joke. How about that? Bit of a revolutionary idea. Anyway, that led to this advert uh, as inspired by the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. Uh, take it away, Sadiq's advert. Well, you need to lay down the ground rules straight away. Is that what you did with that girl you took out in Shoreditch? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, nah, no, nah, she, uh, she ghosted me. Probably wouldn't know a good thing if it slapped her in the face. Someone I'd gladly do if I see her again. Mate, what did I do now? Stop! Just stop, man. You can't be saying that, bro. That's serious stuff. Obviously, I'd never do it. Yeah, but just saying it is bad enough, man. You know that. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Oh, this guy can't descend. Oh, yeah, yeah. Send me, send me, send me. Square, square, square. Where's that outside? A more profound misunderstanding of young men you'd go a long way to come across. Uh, absolute nonsense. Actually making light of a really, really serious issue. People, young men should be uh, discouraged from these kind of conversations, but this advert isn't going to do it. I think it's going to do more harm than good. Let's talk to someone who has every right to take this very seriously. She's a political commentator, uh, but as a child, uh, she was a victim of the Telford grooming gang scandal. Uh, sexually abused from an early age uh, has a terrible story to tell uh, but has triumphed is now a very uh, respected political commentator and therefore just the person we need to talk to a uh, warm welcome to Samantha Smith hello Samantha Hi, Kevin. How are you? I'm very well, and thank you for joining us. I, I, I just feel, look, I'm not against the sentiment of this My campaign. Uh, you know, young men should be discouraged from these kind of conversations, should be discouraged from outright sexism and misogyny in their everyday conversations. Uh, but th this advert, is, A, I don't think it understands m young men at all, and B, I just think it trivialises the issue. What do you think? I couldn't agree with you more, Kevin. I think it's as tone deaf and grossly oversimplifying as the Kendall Jenner Pepsi advert suge that suggested that you could solve racism by handing a, an American police officer a can of Pepsi. There's, <laughs> there seems in, in Sadiq Khan's office to be a complete lack of self-awareness and understanding of what it is that is causing these issues. If we look at the, the, the statistics, there are there are more than two reports of sexual harassment on the tubes in London per day. The year-on-year crime statistics for sexual harassment on public transport and in public spaces has gone up by 88%. The the prosecution rates are even more outrageous. You know, just 1.9% of, of cases are result in charges, rape cases result in charges by the year end, despite thousands upon thousands of girls and, and young women experiencing sexual harassment, assault, rape, etc. on a daily basis. We recently saw a case where a, a man was convicted of sexually assaulting a 13 year old girl on the piccadilly line just moments after she stepped on the tube and how and what sort of prison sentence did he receive just 18 months whereas a criminal gang who illegally streamed football matches got a, a, com a combined over 30 years it isn't uh, you know, young men's responsibility to to tell their friends, mate, don't do that. It's the mayor of London, the Met Police, and and police officers' jobs to prosecute and and bring those perpetrators to justice. 
it puts once again the responsibility for for policing the streets onto ordinary Londoners, onto friends and quote unquote male allies as they were called, rather than the mayor of London owning up to his own failure in protecting vulnerable women and girls. Yeah, there seems to be a sort of deflective uh, element to all of this. That uh, by uh, kind of producing this advert uh, with a great fanfare and unleashing it mm. on an unsuspecting London, uh, you can't help suspecting that. Uh, what the mayor thinks is this will deflect from my other problems, mm -hmm. which are the real problems of misogyny and the real problems of sexism, mm -hmm. the, the way that men feel that they can behave in the way that you've just, just, just described on uh, the tube trains, on the ordinary trains, on the streets. Uh, we know mm -hmm. what's going on. So uh, this is a very trite, shallow advert uh, that I think the mayor hopes uh, will deflect away from the real problems that he's presiding over mm. and what would be better would be uh, to get out there get coppers on the streets to make the streets safe mm. for women and to punish perpetrators mm. far more seriously than they do right now not this stupid advert it's a bit like sort of someone uh, watching a sexual assault on the Piccadilly line and saying to the guy oh my as if that's <laughs> gonna stop him it's ridiculous mm. It's ridiculous. Precisely, precisely. And I've, you know, I've experienced sexual harassment on the tube. I think over 55% of, of women have and 21% of men have, have experienced some sort of sexual harassment on public transport in London. And uh, when I was filmed by a by a 50 something year old man and uh, who made lewd comments towards me, nobody stood up and said anything. And I don't think that Sadiq Khan's billboard saying, say mate to a mate will change that. Realistically, the only way to stop sexual harassment, stop uh, sexual assault, stop crimes like this is by putting, as you said, police on the streets mm. and increasing prosecution rates. It's. I wonder how many millions have been have been blown up the wall on this pointless vanity project, when realistically that money could have gone into funding the police, into in increasing mm. awareness in in a meaningful way, not these not these pointless you know, self-aggrandizing pat on the back projects that Sadiq Khan can say, look how good I am, look what I'm doing, things that will actually protect women and girls rather than just increasing his own brand awareness because that's what this is really about yeah it's, it's virtue signaling on a sort of metro mm. metropolitan scale and here's an, one last point i'll make to you uh, samantha uh, you know as a former young man i think this advert <laughs> profoundly yeah a long time ago i'll admit that <laughs> um but uh, uh, this advert profoundly misunderstands young men mm. in, in those circumstances if somebody started saying something sexist a they probably wouldn't care much but in so much as they did if somebody said mate it, they'd all laugh at the guy saying mate uh, it just <laughs> exactly. it just is wrong on so many levels as mm. i say apparently they consulted you know uh, the proper campaign groups they consulted uh, women's groups they consulted men's groups so they uh, went through the consultation protest very expensively i'm sure and brought together mm. this rather splashy production uh, and uh, i think this is a very disappointing moment in the history of london i mean this is not the way forward on such an important issue mm. I agree. I agree. And the issue that I would say as well is in my experience of, of sexual harassment and, and sexual abuse of, of men behaving badly in public, it's rarely young men. It's, it's in my opinion, in my experience, at least majority 30 plus, 40 plus, 50 plus yeah. year old men who should know better, who have plenty of life experience and who aren't 19, 20 year old boys on the tube out with their, with their friends. Yes, those, you know, any, anyone can be a perpetrator just like anyone can be a victim but in in my opinion it's it is once again as well demonizing young people and suggesting that it is that it's always a young person's problem when this is something that affects everybody it isn't a case of oh saying mate to your friend on a on a night out and that's going to end sexual violence against women and girls it's a far more complex issue and you were right in saying that it's it's a complete oversimplification of a, a very real and very a serious issue that is being that has been ignored and turned a blind eye to by Sadiq Khan and by his own administration for far too long and these sorts of pointless campaigns that do absolutely nothing to 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 cause positive change all this is going to do is is uh, make women and girls feel even less protected because at the end of the day they can spend millions on an advertising campaign but they can't 
ensure that uh, a 13 year old girl who is sexually assaulted on the tube that she, they can't ensure that her perpetrator will go to prison for a very long time what does that say about the justice system uh, not much and you're absolutely right very good point uh, this is just directed at young men old men are pretty bad on this uh, basis <laughs> as well uh, great to talk to you samantha so much uh, for you to say there and uh, well said